This Ford Escape hybrid, decked out with fancy decals and high-tech equipment, may look like some top-secret vehicle, but for Mark Riccobono, it represents the first step towards unlimited mobility for blind people. This is just one example of our guys saying, this is important, this is meaningful, this is going to change how people think about blindness. For the past several months, Riccobono and his colleagues from the National Federation of the Blind have been testing out the prototype vehicle. As they test what seems to be an impossible notion, can a blind person drive a car? A lot of people say, oh, these people in the National Federation of the Blind, they're nuts. And yet, now we have another prototype. We're doing exciting things for blind people, which will have spin-off possibilities for everybody else. Pork engineers and students from Romola, the Robotics and Mechanisms Lab, equipped the vehicle with laser scanners in the front and back to detect objects in the road, mounted cameras on the windshield to identify different lanes, a GPS antenna, and an inertial measurement unit that, when combined, paints a 3D picture of the driving environment. All this information is sent to an onboard computer to be processed. It's conveyed to the driver in real time using two non-visual user interfaces. The first one is called Drive Grip. These are specially designed gloves with vibrating motors that tell the driver which way to steer. The second device is a speed strip, which looks like a seat cushion. It has four pairs of vibrating motors in the back and legs to signal rate of speed information. Four years in the making and it all boils down to this one moment. Engineers say they're pretty confident that this technology-laden vehicle can handle the course. Now it's up to the driver to see it through. Here at the famed Daytona International Speedway, Rick Abono readies himself for the public unveiling of the Blind Driver Challenge. Check, 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 can you hear me? The 34-year-old offers up a final wave as he begins to navigate the course. Relying on the drive grip and speed strip, Rick Abono makes his way around the 1.5-mile track. He hits a top speed of 27 miles per hour, but there are challenges that test his abilities. A box toss he must maneuver his way through and a moving pass. It takes less than 10 minutes to complete the course. First ever blind driver at Daytona. Rick Abono crosses the finish line with the steely determination of a blind man on a mission. Very fulfilling that the, the vision of the National Federation of the Blind, that we've finally been able to put it out in the public and demonstrate the capacity of blind people in driving.